All right, so I had a Criterion that I ordered in the Criterion sale that showed up. And I didn't really have a video to put it into. So I thought it'd be fun to show you my Criterion collection, though. If you follow my channel pretty recently, I uh, talked about these some, some of these already. But let's just get into it. Um, so this first one here is Modern Times. This is a Charlie Chaplin movie. Uh, there's actually quite a few Charlie Chaplin movies in the Criterion Collection. I think a lot of that has to do with these films being so old that I imagine that these are public domain. Also, Charlie Chaplin's historic and uh, classic. And, you know, when... It, I mean, if you don't know what Criterion is, let me just explain it to newcomers because there are people who don't understand. Um, Criterion is basically a label of distribution where they get the rights to these films so they don't own any of these films they don't make any of these films uh they get the rights to them and they put them out on these nifty little editions that you open them up here here's a booklet here's a fancy disc has fancy artwork these booklets usually have reviews audio commentaries blah 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 or not audio commentaries but you know little reviews and snippets from filmmakers artwork things like that and they're basically if you want like the best version of a movie that you really love criterions are a way to go they preserve these movies uh they make sure that they're in pristine condition basically if you love movies you love criterion basically um and they're very neat additions of movies uh they can be a little pricey that's why i don't have a lot of them but uh, this one, you know, uh, but yeah, Charlie Chaplin, uh, Modern Times. You know, I'll be honest. Uh, I guess we'll share some little stories here. I'm not some big Charlie Chaplin fan. I did actually start watching his films very young. Uh, my grandma, when I was really into collecting VHS, she got me some Charlie Chaplin movies. And I was like, oh, old movies. I, I kind of was just obsessed with old movies. That was the coolest thing in the world. And I liked his movies. I need to, but I don't remember any of the ones I saw. I know I remember I saw The Kid. Uh, the Kid, I remember being very funny. I watched it with my great grandmother, who was uh, up there in the uh, Sky God's Heaven. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, but yeah, I, I miss watching movies with her. But, you know, uh, this one is not in the best condition, the art, uh, you know, but it was like 10 bucks and criterions are not that cheap so i just grabbed it and the disc is fine every day it's just that cover that got ripped for whatever reason uh muhammad ali we uh when we are king can i, I hate that lamp because it's a nice lamp adds great light in here so you can see me very clearly but it, that, i can't it's hard to shoot and not get the freaking light doing that shit but this is um a documentary about Muhammad Ali and uh, it's a really excellent documentary about his life and it goes into some interesting details that you would never really know or understand about this dude until you really watch this fantastic if you like really good documentaries this is one of the best of all time uh, documentaries Barry Lyndon I have not seen this movie I just bought this in the Criterion sale uh, I love Stanley Kubrick uh, I've recently watched The Shining for the first time. Uh, my full, my favorite Stanley Kubrick movie is, is probably 2001, and then probably number two is Full Metal Jacket. I, I want to say Full Metal Jacket, but 2001 is just the better movie. So, uh, But yeah, three-hour epic. Don't know when I'm going to have time to watch a three-hour movie, but I will do that. Uh, the Breakfast Club. This is the one that I bought recently and didn't have a video to throw it into. Uh, the Breakfast Club is... Uh, the greatest teen comedy ever made. It is probably John Hughes' best movie. It's not my favorite John Hughes movie. That is Ferris Bueller's Day Off. But this is the best one. Uh, just awesome, awesome movie. And I do already own this. But I had to uh, upgrade to the Criterion. During the, this Criterion sale. Since it's my first time taking part in it. And that was the one of the ones I wanted the most. Even though I do already have the movie. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Uh, this is a classic by most people. God damn that light. Can I? There we go. Now I get. Oh, shit. I have to move my chair over or something. I don't know. Ow. Fast and Furious. 
uh, not Fast Times at Ridgemont High, an incredible classic movie that uh, lots of people love that I had never seen. And I bought this to watch it for the first time. Nope, I can't put it there. Put it there. There we go. That's a good angle. Um, fast, but yeah, it's um. I'm excited to watch this one for the first time. Have not done that yet. A uh, Shaft on 4K Criterion. Uh, I should mention all those were Blu-rays. This is actual 4K, and this also includes Shaft's big score. I've never seen this movie. Uh, you know, classic. 70s black exploitation movie. I need to watch that. Pink Flamingos. Love John Waters, so I bought this in the Criterion sale to watch for the first time. Jackie Chan, uh, Police Story 1 and 2. These are some of the best martial arts uh, movies Jackie Chan ever did. If you love Jackie Chan and you've not actually seen some of his actual uh, martial arts, not American movies, you gotta do this. Um, not crazy about the packaging of this one, though. Like, okay, that's that's a little bizarre. <laughs> I, but it's cool. I, I do like the artwork on this set. It's just, we would forward something a little bit different, like Police Story 1, Police Story 2 on the back, and then you open it up this way. And, yeah, not the... Some of these Criterions have amazing artwork, and then other ones you're just like, huh, what are you going for there? Uh, this is one of the ones that has amazing artwork, Princess Bride. And here's why this one's really cool. Instead of having the booklet, it's a storybook inside with artwork and, uh, you know, cool stuff about it. And uh, and then you get the movie in the back, which is uh, one of my favorite movies. So that's really neat. As you wish. Fantastic Mr. Fox. Uh, this is the movie that I always say is my favorite movie. If you look at this criterion, look how beat up that is. It's because I watched this movie a lot. I had to calm down with how often I watched it. It is my favorite movie. I love that movie. I adore it. It is my favorite Wes Anderson movie. It's my favorite movie of all time. I can't even really explain why. It just is. Seven Samurai. This is the first ever four movie I actually ever watched. Uh, this is a Kira Toriyama, not a Kira Tori, uh, a Kira Kurosawa's masterpiece. It is, it is one of the greatest films ever made. Hard Day's Night. Now this is the Blu-ray version. I haven't upgraded to the 4K. I will at some point. But the thing was, I wanted this for years. I asked for it for Christmas. I get it on Blu-ray next year. They're like, 4K's coming. I'm like, ah, shit. But. Yeah, that's kind of my Criterion collection. I do really am glad I have this, though. I'm a huge Beatles fan. I'm obsessed with the Beatles and their music and their movies and everything involving the Beatles, so I'm happy to have that. But, yeah, this is just awesome. Uh, Criterions are just awesome. I, I don't have a lot because they are so expensive, uh, but I if I could own every Criterion ever... I probably would, but I can't. I don't have the money nor the time to watch all those. So thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.